a very popular digital clock available from many online sellers. Let's take a look at how to set this up, including setting the time and alarm functions. As supplied, it will come with a cable that is designed for connecting to a USB power supply, but it probably won't come with a USB power supply. That's okay, you've probably got one knocking about in the house anyway. It doesn't require any fancy one. Any will do because it's a very low power clock. It also comes with the facility to either have this stand that it can stand on a shelf or you can hang it on the wall. If you hang it on the wall and you don't want the stand section, just slip your fingers under here and pop it out. It just pops down the way. It also has the option for timekeeping backup in the event it's unplugged. There's a lithium cell can go under here, a little lithium button cell, and it may have one fitted already. It depends which country it gets shipped to. In the UK, they don't tend to ship things with batteries due to draconian postal problems. And if yours doesn't have the little tab that comes out, it probably doesn't have a lithium cell in it. Turning that anti-clockwise will release this. The lithium cell is a 2032 type. You put it in from the right-hand side with the printed side, the sort of engraved side pointing up the way, and just hook it under the lip and insert it in and pop this cover back on and just turn it to the clockwise to lock it back in place. That now has backup for the timekeeping. Connect the cable in here and you've got the option of clipping it down into this little channel here and then connect it to a power supply. There are three buttons for setting it. I'm going to show you the first function because it's useful to actually brighten the display up for this presentation. So the middle button, which is marked up, if you press it, it will cycle through intensity settings. So there's medium, there's low, and there's high. I'm going to leave it set to high. We've got three buttons on top marked mode, up, and down. We've got two indicators in the front other than the digital display and the colon here. And we've got the alarm indicator and the PM indicator for when it's in 12 hour mode. Let's set the time. To set the time, press and hold the mode button down for a few seconds and the hour segments will start flashing. Use the up and down buttons to adjust those to whatever you want. I'm going to adjust, adjust it to 1500 hours and if you press the mode again, it will then go to minutes and you can adjust that down from the end or you can adjust it up. It's quite handy. You can just adjust it with the up down buttons, then press the mode button again, or indeed if you just leave the buttons alone, it will revert back to displaying the time. If you'd rather have a 12, 12 hour clock, then press the middle button and hold it down and it will switch from uh, 24 hour to 12 and the PM indicator will become active. If you press the middle button again, it will revert back to the 24 hour mode. There is an alarm function available on this. If you press the right hand down button, you can toggle the alarm on and off as indicated by this indicator here. To see the time that the alarm is going to go off, press the mode button and release it once. Alarm will start flashing and it will display the alarm time. If while it's doing that, you press that once to go into that mode and then hold it, you can then set the alarm time. So say for instance, you wanted to get up at 7.05, you'd set 7, you'd press the mode again, it would go to the other side display and you'd set it up to 5. And then there's one other setting when you press mode and it's the snooze time. So at the moment it's set for 5 minutes, that can go up to 60 minutes, whatever you want. So select that with up and down and then press mode to revert back out. And now when you press the uh, mode button to see, the alarm will show you that it's set for 7.05. To turn the alarm on and off, press the down button, that's the right hand button, and the alarm indicator will light. The alarm is now on. If the alarm starts to sound in the morning, you've got a choice. If you press the mode button, it will activate that snooze function for the desired amount of time. Or if you press the down button, it will turn the alarm off. But in the case of the alarm actually ringing, all the down button will do is reset. It won't turn it off completely. The indicator will stay on. There is one more function. At night time, this can be set to automatically dim. If you want to toggle that on or off, you press the mode button twice. It now lets you choose off or on, off or on. If you turn it on and then you press and hold the mode button, 
it initially starts displaying the time that that mode will come into play. So that's six o'clock. So you could set it to come on at nine o'clock in the evening. And then you press mode, it lets you select the minutes. And then it's the it brightens up again at six o'clock in the morning. You could say, let's make it so it comes back on to full brightness at eight o'clock in the morning. And that's it. You've set the time that that dimming function will occur. If you want to turn the dimming function off again, all you have to do is press this button a couple of times, the mode button, and then you can toggle it on or off. And that's how you set it. It's very straightforward. It's quite easy to set and it's very functional. It's quite a neat clock. The power consumption is so low you do not have to worry at all about power consumption. It's something like two watts tops. So even leaving it on 24 hours a day all year, as I would hope with any clock, it's only going to cost you a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars in electricity. So quite a smart clock actually quite easy to set, quite well designed and very functional.